the wrong chat cover for today. Better. Okay, so <laughs> for the past, no, when did, when did all this nonsense start? Back in, at the very end of 2019 is when I got the mentor achievement, 2000 mentor roulettes. And I went, what, what to do now? And I went, well, there's a, apparently a leaderboard for achievements, which I found because I was like, how many people have this achievement anyway? And no, oh, there's, you know, there's a place where they dig into the API and pull everybody's achievements and rank people and so on. I was like, oh, okay, well, maybe I'll just become an achievement hunter, you know. And so I went on the, the grand journey of achieving all of the things. And one of the things that always sat there as a, like, <laughs> just looming overhead was the big fish achievements. Where they say, hey, catch, catch like, 240 of the, you know, the, the rare 240-something fish in the source. And then also the, no, wait, it's not 200. It's 200 in the source and then 44. Four in Shadowbringer zones, and it's it's. <laughs> there are multiple milestones along the way where I went. All right, I'm kind of done with big fishing for now. It's so ridiculous going around and trying to catch all these fish. I've I've gotten far enough. You get achievements along the way. I would hit a milestone and stop. Then I would you know pick it up later and hit another milestone and stop. And I had stopped briefly at the one where I had all but the last achievement for the source and for Shadowbringers. And I went, I mean, as long as the fish are there, you know, I'll probably go for this eventually. So, you know, when, I, when I'm when i in the mood, when the mood strikes me, I'll go catch some fish. And I eventually, la last Tuesday, so nine days ago, um... I, I caught a big fish for the first time in a while. There had been a big, long drought of, you know, I would go try to try to catch one and nothing. Try to catch another one and nothing. And was, you know, mostly keeping occupied with PvP. And then on, on Tuesday, I caught a big fish. And I was like, oh, how many more do I have to go? And I went and looked, and I had, I had 10 left to go, according to the website tracker I was using. It was actually 11, because I had clicked one off by mistake. Um, but, you know, regardless, I'm like, oh, okay, there's... Really not that many left. And then I noticed that I was at 21,950 achievement points. And I always make sure to take a screenshot when I hit one of the, the 1,000s along the way. And I went, oh, well, you get 50 points <laughs> for the final big fish achievements. You know, 20 for the one and 10 for the one and then 20 for having them both. So I'm like... If I didn't get any more, if the next thing that I did in the game was finished off the big fish list, then getting the big fish title would, would happen at exactly 22,000. So that is what I did for the past nine days. <laughs> Yesterday morning, I finally um, caught all of the ones that I was going to. Fisher... This is the only thing left. There are two remaining. Both of them have 100% of uptime and should not be too difficult to catch. And once I get that, we'll hit 22,000 exactly. <laughs> so I am fishing on stream for the, f the first time, I guess. So I, don't, I don't need anything. I don't need room in my bags. I actually do need room in my bags. No, I can just th throw, throw things into... Why do I have... Why do I have all this stuff? Why do I have this materia, especially? Here, I'm gonna sell a seal. Alright. We're not gonna inventory manage right now. I only need a few spots, I think. I need some glow worms.
Oh, you can buy these. So the plan is to go catch Cornelia in Lake Tahatl. Tatal? Tatotal? Tatotal. And then after that, the final fish will be Imperial Goldfish. The grand finale. Uh, I don't know how difficult it will be to catch them. Uh, I'm I'm gonna spitball about half an hour each. Let's see let's see how far off that is. Glowity glow. Uh, what else am I going to need? Honeyworms? I, of course, should have gotten all this settled beforehand. Oh, I do already have a bunch of... Can't hurt to get a little more. Sure. To North Shroud. So I would have to say that this overall big fishing did take me longer, <laughs> I think, than the mentor roulette achievement. We ballparked that at around 600 hours or so. This has taken longer. There are some fish on here that I think took like multiple tens of hours. Uh, sea butterfly especially and frickin' charibanae. I must become the fish. And what do we need? Glowworms. And that's it. This is the whole stream. Get used to it. So the plan here is catch a... I don't want that. Boxing Pleco. Serp, what a, what a stream indeed. <laughs> so I was I was just explaining, but uh, it was to no one, so I'll... Oh, I forgot to turn that off. Thank you. Assuming that was you. The no follower thing. That's a boxing placo. Um. Oh, Garrett is here. <laughs> you weren't even in the list until you said hi just now. <laughs> Thank you for grabbing that. So the the deal is, last Tuesday, Tuesday of last week. Nice. <laughs> Tuesday of last week. Um, I got to. There it is. And I switched to Rainbow Spoon Lore. Um, I got to 21,950 achievement points at the same time that I realized that I was only 11 big fish away from finishing the big fish achievement. <laughs> and so I went, I think I'm just going to not do anything else in the game that would get me an achievement until... Uh, and I was, like, after I had committed to that... When I started to realize, like, just how hard, like, two of them in particular, where I'm like, hopefully this doesn't turn into, like, an obscenely lo I'm like, there's an event coming up. I don't want to miss the event. <laughs> but I won't be able to do the event or I'll get an achievement. I don't want to, like, miss patch 6.2. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I was five, 50 points short, and you get 50 points for getting the last the last big fish achievements. So I was like, let me just do nothing but big fish for eight days. And then yesterday morning, I caught the last one that I needed to, to bring me down to the final two, which have 100% uptime, so we should be able to catch them on this stream 
even if it takes a little while. And man, I really found myself saying like, it really invoked some, why am I doing this kind of vibes. Oh, um, well, we, we, we caught one already. <laughs> assuming this is it, assuming there isn't another three fish in here. Yeah, it was crazy easy. <laughs> Just as planned. All right, on to the final fish. It's gonna be a short stream. We'll play some Phoenix right after. <laughs> Uh, wine port. Oops. Wine port. They, they need very, so this, okay, so a, as an example, the one that we just caught there, you can go there any time of, any time of day and during any weather. You just have to catch five boxing pleco in order to get a five minute buff that gives you permission to catch the the rare fish wiping an ultimate you don't get an achievement for wiping an ultimate what a mistake what a bad play <laughs> um so that that one was very easy and what we're going to catch over here is also pretty easy um but for for example one of the ones um lancet fish what most people would call like the hardest one in the game to get the hardest big fish in the whole game it only it shows up in a particular watering hole and you need a particular bait and you can only catch it between midnight and 2 a.m in game time which is like a six minute window and only if the weather has just changed from, I forget what it is, might be like clouds to thunder or something like that. And then you can't actually catch it then. You need the intuition buff. And the way you get the intuition buff is by catching two Mora Tectas, which can only be caught between 10 p.m. and midnight, only during, you know, again, a five minute window. And they are exceptionally rare. Like, you show up to this to this hole at 10 p.m. game time, you go fish, 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 and you get none. And you show up again, you fish, 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 and you get none. And you show up again, you fish, fish, and you get one, and that's not enough. And for the weather pattern and the, the time of day to come up only happens a few times a day, and sometimes in the middle of the night. <laughs> Oh yeah, no. People people work them out using like like people install mods so that they can like harvest all of their data and then compound it all together to go this must be the time block where you can catch this fish. It it really would be very very hard to uh Oh no, this is the spot. The falls. Even if you did, like, if you caught one, you wouldn't know what you had done unless you collaborated with other people or caught that fish, like, 20 more times, which you would never do because there's super no... There's nothing to do with them. <laughs> so there's no reason you would ever go back and try to catch the same fish again. So it would just be... You, you, you know, like, if you go on the market board and look at the descriptions of the fish, it'll say, like, oh, I guess this one doesn't. Well, it says it's a boxing pleco, so if you know where to catch boxing plecos, you can guess that that's where you also catch this fish. All right, so what are we doing? Honey worms? Honey worms. Oh, nope, I need this on. So here I need to catch a a large silverfish, leave it on the line, cast again, use that to catch a large goldfish, leave that on the line, cast it again, and catch a jungle catfish. There's the silver. I need three jungle catfish, and then when I mooch a silverfish, instead of getting a goldfish, I might get the imperial goldfish, which is the final one. But there are other fish in the pond, so. Oh, 
Um, and if I had done this smarterly, I could like now I can't double hook or triple hook this guy because this bu this debuff is on. Oh, I already have that achievement. Plenty more fish in the sea. <laughs> So how is Ultimate going? I saw something about there being a checkpoint, which people said was unusual. That's a SERP. <laughs> I saw your, I saw you on the market, like I went to sell a materia and I saw you in the, um, the, what do you call it? The price history that you had just bought it like minutes before the server went down. It's like, geez, sir, plan a little better. I thought you were serious about this video game. Very disappointed. <laughs> You're gonna scare away the fish! Oh, I just thought I can wait for the buff to run out now and then double hook. And this intuition, intuition vi window is 10 minutes long, which is the most generous in the whole game. Oh, were you? I thought you were, I thought you were melding them. So let's wait the 15 seconds. It could be in the shadow of a great hero. How is your weapon out? Oh, I don't mind spo I'm not going <laughs> to I'm not going to do ultimate. And if I were, I certainly would be spoiling myself on it before I tried. <laughs> Alright, so now I can successfully double hook this guy. And assuming this is Jungle Catfish, I... I have ten minutes to catch the thing. Oh, but I should use this. So if this is a silver, I mooch it, and all I want is the three. Otherwise, I'll let it go. You guys also, I don't think you were here in time to see my, my intro. When you watch the VOD, you'll have to see I made a new intro just for the fishing stream. And there was nobody here to see it. <laughs> nope, don't want it. So you fight the knight at the vault, Archvan sacrifices himself in the final phase, checkpoint, now you fight Thordan. Beating him leads to Nidhogg Astidian, as the minstrel narrates how the Dragon Song War went. That does sound nice. I watched a little bit of a Japanese stream that I think was still on the, the first phase. I don't want that. And how many days it's been out? This is, this is day three. And it'll probably be... Well, I guess we can't even really estimate. Once you beat him, time rewinds. And the minstrel says he will tell a different tale now. And you're back at the final part of the vault fight. But this time you have access to LB3. Oh! Do you save Harshafant? Is that the mechanic? <laughs> From there, it loops again to Thornton and him. So people assume you have to save Horshfont on the second loop somehow to progress the fight. Really? That is pretty neat. <laughs> Discus. And I need to throw some of these away. Go away. Go away. Oh, I'll have to yeah I'll have to go see some reactions to that because that does sound pretty cool <laughs> get out of here mitten crab if you're not a big fish I want nothing to do with you won't even eat you or catalog you
Oh, the thing wore off. That's fine. Is this it? Is this gonna be the one? Also, every single big fish has a chance to get away, regardless of your stats. So it doesn't matter if this is an ARR fish, it can still get away. Which just adds to the frustration. Oh. Maybe you LB3 as a healer. And stun all of the knights and kill them instantly in one hit. Oh, I, again, I'm not catching large fish now. That's bad. Do it right. Throw that out. Throw that out. Get him out. I'm usually a better fisher than this. I promise. So pretty much the whole week has been... I've done a little bit of, like... I can go into Boja safely, because the only thing I have left to do in Boja is get 10-10-10, and it's not like I'm going to get that by accident. And I was doing a little bit of, like, Blue Mage logging, because you need a ton of those. And what else? Lots of just AFK crafting to try to get to 10,000 HQ on every, <laughs> on every crafter. Oh, this might be it. It's long. It hasn't bit yet. This might be the Imperial. I'm sure it is. It got away. <laughs> if you don't stand up, it means it got away. <laughs> oh, so it's going to be like that. Is it fish? Is it? Is it going to be like that? So people have already gotten to the end of phase three but then you're going to have to go through the three phases again and the first phase is different because you have to end it with the lb or something and then people we also don't know how the second and third phase go if they're also different which they probably will be If you see an Imperial Goldfish, go ahead and fire fire missiles. Kinda know from live letters and data mines. That's too bad about data mining. Like what are you gonna Oh, I guess there's that, yeah. Like people already knowing, um what do you call it? What's the Shiva fight? Where Chris Felger shows up. Or I guess he could show up in this one, too. This is also a uh, Dragon Song War. <laughs> I hear the Dragon Song War had dragons in it. Cannot confirm. Exciting Final Fantasy stream. This is what everyone tuned in for. Is this the one? I have to say that every time I throw out a silverfish. Nope. <laughs> Which of us has more mounts? Take a guess. Which of us has more mounts? How many do you have? I'd Garrett, type exclamation point mount to guess whether me or Serp has more mounts. 
<laughs> is it? Okay. I don't know what you do. I don't have either of the mounts that you just flexed. <laughs> I guess that's something I also could have done, is gone and done the old, uh, the old EX. What am I doing? Why did I mooch? Oh, no. It's fine that I mooch, but why did I catch? <laughs> Mount guide, 123, which isn't that many. Although I guess some of them would be from past events. Like you haven't been playing since 2.0, right? So there's a lot of like whatever egg mount from the Easter egg thing five years ago. Or like... I don't know. What are the mounts do they give us? You have 59. The Halloween Aramon mount, you know. I don't want to get out of here. Oh. <laughs> no, it's really not my favorite. Like, my favorite mount is probably the triple triad card. As simple as it is. <laughs> I really like the triple triad card. Just a big old piece of cardboard that you fly around on. Plus, there's, if you don't know, Garrett, there's, there's a little bit of a... Would I use the word stigma... Or Ligma. There's a little bit of a stigma against mentors, at least online. I don't know if in-game it's really the case, but... Um, like, on Reddit, for example, people will be like, Oh, mentors, uh, Burger King crown, uh, they're all terrible at the game, and they're mean, and they, they only got the crown because it's whatever... And Novice Network is a cesspool on every server. It's like, jeez, guys. Some of us, some of us are mentors because we like to teach the game to people. And we like to play the game. Alright, got the intuition back. Let's, uh, do that. Actually, it, yeah, that it is the rarest mount I have. I wonder what the second rarest is. Is it the triple triad card? Can't check right this second. Oh man, I'm gonna be able to stop carrying bait. <laughs> Cause I almost always like I would have I would have like 30 baits on me for all of the different fish that would come up. It's like now I can I can finally purge my inventory. I'll probably still carry around the ocean fishing bait, because I still need to ocean fish. I just straight up caught a goldfish? Why? What's wrong with me? Oh, Victor from Hunts. S ranks. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what else I have that would be rare other than the triple triad card. What else? I've got the ocean fishing mount, the shark, whatever that's called. I just don't have the title to go with it. But 
open is the shark. What arest thou, shark? Don't I have it? That. The high boat. High boat. The bears. The wiver. Oh, yeah. I could, I could go buy that, I guess. <laughs> but, like, who wants a mount? Not me. Uh, so yesterday, the Stan Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, uh, I I was like, I started off concerned, like, oh, is it actually, like, is it worth playing through this again? I'm like, was it a mistake to play it yesterday? Is there not going to be, like, enough new stuff to really justify its existence? No, it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> I really dig it. Oh, I need to do this again. And on the one hand, I was thinking of like, oh, you like, I better split it up and put it on YouTube right away so people can. Well, but I kind of don't want. Uh, obviously, no matter what, somebody's going to upload footage from it. But it, it is the sort of game that's like, oh, wouldn't you rather support the guy, Davy? He made such a good game. But it's great. He, like, right in order addressed all of the things that I was... That I had been saying or was about to say about the game. <laughs> you go in a door that says new content on it. And you go through and it's just, like, an elevator ride in one room. And they're like, that's the end of the new content. And the narrator's all upset. He's like, oh, you know, blah, blah. And then he, like, leads you into this memory vault where... <laughs> It's it's like um oh is that it? That was it. I didn't catch it though. Boo. <laughs> Where he's like, remember how good the original Stanley Parable was? It was excellent. It was a perfect game. It was wonderful. And he's leading you through this this house where just everything is lined with like praise of 2013 everywhere, 2013 posters. And the box art for the original Stanley Parable, and screenshots from it, and the characters from it, and everything. <laughs> and then it brings you to, through to, like, it's kind of like I, I wanted to make another game, but I had these ideas, but there was really nowhere to put them. They didn't fit together into a new game that did something different. They're just, they're just gimmicks that work better as additions to the Stanley Parable. <laughs> Yeah, that, that part is really good. Did not get it. And see, this is this is big fishing now. <laughs> Just you sitting in front of a, a serp eagle machine angel. Getting triple exclamation points over your head and remaining seated. And then teleporting back to your free company house with no fish. Good evening, blind. You made it in time. I am on I am on the last big fish in all existence. Get out of here, you. Who is that even? Did he just use home gang? I'm going to mentor him. I'm going to tell him don't use home gang. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny that you can still... I never noticed, but you can still see the home gang chain even if you have other people's effects turned off. Also, what are they attacking now? I can't see it. Oh, I got it. This is it. Ah, that's not print screen. That one's print screen. Go big or go home 16. No river wide enough. 
and Serp is now haunting me. <laughs> 22,000. You were just in time. In fact, you were good luck, Blind. You were instrumental <laughs> in making sure that I got the fish. <laughs> Looks like it came from POTD. No, it's, it's the, uh, what is this? What is it called? The Dragon Song Rod? No, Sky Builders. Sky Builders Fishing Rod. <laughs> Alright, well, what now? PvP, I guess. I haven't been able to PvP in, like, over a week. Should I do something with this? Should I just rip it up? Just desynth it? That's what I have to do with most of the big fish, because nobody buys them. You can't do anything with them other than make a poster out of them. <laughs> no, we'll go... We'll PvP real quick. Because I get... Like, when I realized, too, that I was at 21,950, I had... I was one match away from ruining it. I was one pe like going into this match as soon as I load in, I get an achievement. <laughs> also, um, what happened to PvP? Did everybody stop doing it because of the cheaters? Queues aren't supposed to be multiple seconds long. Is that actually what happened? Nobody does PvP anymore <laughs> because of the cheaters. Or because of the nerfs, or because of the buffs? There it is. <laughs> Battlebred 3 for doing 100 matches. It didn't do my plate! I specifically told it to do my plate, please. I didn't really, but it should have. Well, 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 look who it is. Oh, I also forgot to put on my title. Oh, I have the feeling I'm being, I'm being ghosted in this match. Somebody's screen peeking. They're gonna know all of my team's strategies that we intend to push the crystal. <laughs> so is the tank in four DPS versus healer four DPS? I'm definitely gonna be out of practice here. I have no idea what I'm doing. Still secured. Wait, how are there two assassinates? Does he have double strike? Is he holding two knives? I tell you, these hacks, they're out of control. Could have guarded. That's what I forgot. I forgot guard is a button. Well, of course, he, he, he hangs onto my neck with his teeth and then stabs him with each of his hands. Oh, 
how? How was that guy still alive? Well, he might have been guarding. Or I might have missed him with the AoE? Maybe. It's hard to talk in stream. Especially after you've been doing it for eight years. Gets harder and harder every year. You run out of words. And wow, did they nerf? Li or no, it's just because I've been dead. You definitely put something on my head. <laughs> or else bards were buffed so much that everybody focuses them now? <laughs> I mean, I, did, I don't want to say it's working out for us, but it kind of is. But not really. Nope, we're all dead, actually. Oh, I shouldn't have told you that. I should have kept it a secret. these guys. Wow. Mean. Well, I guess I won't also get my catch every crystal conflict vis victory in the game. I was going to do both in one stream, but Serp had to ruin it. I suppose it would get more difficult with everybody, like, getting buffed. Because <laughs> it seemed like everybody except for warriors and white mages got buffed in some way. <laughs> That's my excuse. That's my excuse for losing. Anyway, I got the achievement, which is the important thing. The only important thing is getting achievements. Didn't you know? <laughs> No, I was just going to do the one game anyway. Uh, let's, I have, before we put it up, let's actually, let's, let us take stock. Take stock of my achievements. What is there left to do in Final Fantasy XIV? <clears throat> uh, grind Fates, uh, I probably will, ne I've, <laughs> I'll wait until, maybe the Relic. Maybe the Relic this time around will have you grind Fates again. Who knows? Um, I have to do the 700 things on Paladin and Dark Knight and Gunbreaker. Gunbreaker has the farthest to go. Warrior's already done. <laughs> One for eight on being on the same team when queuing with friends. Are we friends? After what you just did to me in that match, are we? Yes, we are. Um, oh, it's a fate. I'm not going to do it, though. Uh, do 90 dungeons and trials and raids in, with all blue mages. I still gotta do like 30 of those. Those are easy enough to like throw up a thing in Party Finder and say, hey guys, pile in. But it would be, it would be easier if I had a blue mage static. But it's hard to find one that still would want to go do all of that stuff. And then here's all of the, all of the other blue mage, blue mage hard content, the extremes and savages. 
So there's a good 100 points or so there. 100 achievement points at least. Queue with two friends, and at least two of you <laughs> will be on the same team. Uh, go to floor 200 in Palace of the Dead. Never did it. it. Could at any point, I guess. Doing it with a full party probably is not that hard. But then here it is. Go through solo. Um, this this would be just months of running Palace and Heaven on High trying to get 10,000... Nonsense. I'm not doing that. Heaven on High to 100. Haven't done it. Heaven on High solo to 100. I have tried. I've gotten to floor 90. No farther than that. Uh, do the three extremes from Endwalker. Haven't done them yet. I'll get around to it. I'll especially, like... Especially after 6.2, when we have better gear. I think that's when I'll start... I don't know, doing more combat stuff. Like, going back and doing Eden Unsynced. It's like, I would rather just have <laughs> enough gear to make sure that we skip mechanics. What was I doing? I was doing Titania the other day, right? Titania Extreme... Just because uh, it was something that I could work on, trying to, you know, work towards the mount. And we we were, like, we were extremely borderline on getting to skip the ads. And I felt like we should probably be able to do that regularly. <laughs> but we were not. Um, ultimate, ultimate, savage, ultimate, ultimate, savage, ultimate, ultimate, savage. Uh, the hunt, I've never really been involved in hunt trains. Maybe I'll get in on that someday. It seems pretty, bo it, not just boring, but frustrating because you get people who are, it's kind of like Eureka, where you get people in it who are personalities. What are you doing, Mantis? Get out of here. This is all hunt trains. Treasure Hunt. I'm going to wait until the next batch of dungeons comes out so that I can grind both of those at the same time. Both of the the things that will come out of the Kumabara skins. But I also need to... Um, I need to go back and do older maps just a lot. There's lots of achievements here that are just run several hundred <laughs> treasure maps so that you get the... Uh... You've been watching someone make pro attempts at soloing? Pals of the Dead and Heaven on High. Maybe I could stream attempts of Heaven on High, maybe. I mean, I could. It would just make me less likely <laughs> to clear them, because <laughs> I'd be on camera. Uh, Baldesian Arsenal, haven't done it. DR Savage, haven't done... I mean, I, I had the one run where we almost beat it, but didn't. But I just... like now that, I'm, now that I'm done with Big Fish, this is next. DR Savage is next. Maybe. Uh, I also need to get 10 10 10 in Boja. I'm up to 10 10 6. Uh, this last lost action, I guess, comes from DR Savage, or I could just buy it on the market board and I haven't. <laughs> Pavip, a billion, a million billion trillion from doing all of the Crystal Conflict a hundred times over and then a thousand times on top of that on each and every class or each and every role. What else? Fall Hollows, I only did during Shiva. Um, now that it's Ultima Weapon, <laughs> Ultima Weapon is very easy. I don't, I don't think we've, no, we, I went in and there was one group that I was with that wiped, but, um, it's very, it's pretty hard to wipe and it's very, it's impossible to miss the DPS check. Even, even if half the team dies and has to get rezzed a couple of times, you don't fail the DPS check. So compared to Shiva, it is an absolute cakewalk. Yeah. Is Deception... Do you get it from, like, the final DR Savage boss? Because I've done everything else in the game. <laughs> so that's the only place that it could come from. If I don't have it. Um, So, yeah, this is, this is like, 20-whatever. No, 15. 15 weeks. 16 weeks of uh, doing Ultima Unreal. No problem. These are all done. These are all done. All done. All done. All done. Almost all done. I have almost all of the Gold Saucer achievements, but I'm, I'm not really feeling up to doing 2,000 more Chocobo races. <laughs> um, I need any Triple Triad card to finish this, which, I mean, they're around. Yeah, I only ran DRS once. 
Oh, it's it's not from the final chest. It's just random. Okay. I've only been in there once. So, yeah, I, I guess just running it a bunch more, I'll, I'll get it. Or I'll buy it. Uh, Lord of Verminion PvP, I haven't done at all. Mahjong, Mahjong PvP, I also really haven't done at all. But aside, aside from Mahjong and Lord of Verminion, the only things that I have in Gold Soft Saucer left to do are um, get one Triple Triad card and then race my Chocobo 1,800 times. Items. Uh, this is beat Heaven on High four times, so, I mean, I guess after I solo it, maybe I'll start getting groups for it. Uh, this is Garo, which I just need to PvP more. PvP, PvP. Farm Extremes. This I'm very gradually working on. I'm gonna get to 10 million... ...soon-ish. <laughs> and then need to... It's taken me seven years... <laughs> to get to 10 million and there's another achievement at 20 but it's not like i ever ground i missed out on coffee biscuits can you believe that i never turned in a well i turned in one so that i could get an achievement for doing all the culinary and things but this shouldn't take too long i just have to go like what do you call it fishing spear fishing and and spear fish like eight thousand of, of ones that you can turn in it's like okay so that's a bunch of points they're waiting there for when i have boring afternoons or i could craft no this this is catch or gather not craft i already have all the crafting ones um this <laughs> this would just be hours of sitting there and melding and then removing materia but i guess i'll do it at some point and then this i'll just never have <laughs> Spirit Bond 5,000 items. This is, again, I've been playing the game since 2013, and I'm a third of the way done. I can't speak. I mean, I guess I could Spirit Bond things faster, but... There's probably some method, but whatever it is, you're still probably only Spirit Bonding a couple dozen an hour? <laughs> like, Awful. All Relic Weapons, all Zodiac Weapons, all Animal Weapons, all Deep Dungeon Weapons, all Eureka Weapons, all Resistance Weapons, all Sky Steel Tools. Uh, bleh. This is going to go into Diadem and spend an entire lifetime in there. Okay. Maybe. I do... Now, this patch... I haven't made the new crafted gear for this patch. Once I do, I'm going to bang these out. The Resplendent Crafter... Cr because they're they were pretty hard to do with Shadowbringers equipment. It should be easier now. It should be pretty easy now. Uh, each one of these is going to look the same. I need to hit ten thousand high quality items. I need to grind Ishgardian Restoration a whole bunch, and I need to make the Resplendent weapon. Miner, I will someday, I guess, finish this off. And then I will never finish these off. This is diadem nonsense. Same thing here. Same exact thing here. Fisher. And Walker Big Fish. Who cares? I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm really not doing that. And then ocean fishing. Um, I'm close to the million. And then you can keep going to get three million with the title that everybody likes. World Class Troller. <laughs> um, oh, plus... There's a bunch of other ocean fishing things where these ones require a, a group. I would just need to grab a group that was going to go ocean fishing for a particular thing. I've done it a couple times. I've gotten a few of them. Quests, none. Leave quests. This is, again, I'm grinding away on this one, turning in, like, a hundred fish every, every week and a half. And it's just going to take forever. Seems silly, really. Other than the... F oh, I still... I, like, these I don't want to look up. But I... I haven't done any, like, really serious searching for the last nine that I don't have yet. That could be fun. Uh, I have all of these. All of these. All of these. And then, finally, Grand Company, lead my squadron. Who cares about them? They're, they're dumb. Done, done, and done. So those are the only achievements that I don't have. 
It, it's still a lot, especially the PvP. <laughs> it really is like tens of thousands of hours of PvP that they want you to do in order to get all of those. So who knows when I will stop. <laughs> I was briefly in the top 10 on Sargatanis, and then uh, uh, like other people doing patch 6.1 caught up. Mostly, probably through Crystal Conflict, I guess. Um, all right, that is that is all for Final Fantasy. Let's do, let's log out and do Phoenix Wright. I mean, Naruhodo. 